Hello, my fellow. Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time we saved a couple people, and I think it's going to progress the story a little bit. At least, uh, hopefully, we just won't get destroyed like I feel like we're going to, because I'm afraid of everything. Wait. But. Here we go. You may enter. Thank you, Chairman Hoshino. Captain Takabe said it would be okay for us to talk? I heard. And I believe I already know why you've come. You've done us a great service. I would not still be leader of this clan if it weren't for you. Does that mean the Seiryu clan's gonna pull through? I can't say for sure yet. About 20 to 30 percent of our men defected to the Omi. The ones who stayed are grumbling behind my back. And it's hard to blame them. They just found out the Jincho standoff was all a sham. Zhao told me he's giving up his position as the leader of the Liu Meng. Songhui is going to lead them. Yes, I know. <laughs> you just know everything, huh? Not everything. But I'll tell you what I do know. Eventually, the Seryu clan will succumb to the Omi Alliance. What? For people who had nowhere to live outside the Grey Zones, the Great Wall of Muscle was their only protection. Now it's crumbling. That's a matter of life or death for them. Already rumors are flying into Jincho's political circles. Rumors that Ogikubo's lost his touch. I'm sure Aoki got those whispers going. He never lets a good crisis go to waste. Oh, really? Aoki knows it would destroy the party if it ever revealed their chair, Ogikubo, forged money for years. Now Aoki can easily blackmail Ogikubo and force him to step down. Aoki will become the new party chair. I don't get it. Why does he want to take Ogikubo's place so bad? The party chair manages elections, so in that role, Aoki could nominate anyone he wants. He'll control the ruling party. Therefore, he'll control the nation. The whole country will be under his thumb? Yes. Especially if I'm right about his next move. I think he's gonna try to dissolve Parliament. <clears throat> What? This game's story is getting more and more far-fetched. Dissolve Parliament? At a time like this? That's insane! Prime Minister, I understand how you must feel, being unable to rely on Ogi Kubo-sensei. But honestly, I have the power to support you better than he ever could. If an election were held today, I could guarantee you two-thirds of the seats. Minimum. Do you have a solid plan for doing that? Yes. I'll send Bleach Japan to the districts where the citizens' liberal party is weakest. Bleach Japan can influence votes anywhere. They're incredibly popular. Plus, they have my endorsement. A victory for the party would, of course, move your personal political goals forward. Oh. Tell me. Do you think you have the power to maintain the party's stability right now? We don't want it breaking up for lack of support from Ogi Kubo-sensei. You can talk that way to the house, but not to me. Appoint me to party chair and hold an election. If you don't, I'll be forced to make public the nature of Ogi Kubo-sensei's crimes. That would mean the end of not only your administration, but the party itself. But there's no precedent for someone serving as both governor and party chair. Besides, you're much too young. If age is what you want, start digging for some old fossil who can stop me. That is, if you think you can find one. Anyone in particular come to mind? Mm. Huh, that's... Okay. 
Aki's scheme to destroy the Great Wall worked. Now he's got Mabuchi and the Omi at his command. So much power vested in just one man. And it had to be Masato Arakawa. Because we had the whole town in Papa's hand. Whole country? Blood is still being spilled because the outsider interfered. Could Arakawa's on one once knew had to be a part of that? Kasuga. I know you never intended to be at the center of all this. It was pure coincidence that you were there when the soap landowner died. Wouldn't you agree? Yep. Lucky me. But one thing I don't believe is a coincidence. Is that you ended up in Ijin Show. Huh? What do you mean? Do you still have that fake bill? Yeah. Uh, didn't... Didn't you say you knew how it ended up on me? Yes. Only one person in the world could have put that bill in your pocket. Who? Who is it? Masumi Arakawa himself. Arakawa-san? No, he... He's the one who shot me. Yes, I'm aware he shot you. But did you ever consider that maybe he did that so you would end up here? What? That fake bill was his letter of introduction between you and me. It was to let me know that you were one of Masumi Arakawa's men. Uh, kind of a weird way to introduce us, don't you think? I think what it means is Arakawa's goals do not align with those of Ryo Aoki. Well, then, what are Arakawa's goals? I really can't say, but I do know that he means business. He wouldn't have used that bill if he didn't. Chairman, how exactly do you know Arakawa-san? Huh. Well, that's a long story. And there's a much better place than here to tell it. Heian Tower. Heian Tower? Yes. That's where my fate intertwined with Arakawa's. <sighs> <laughs> He sure seems to be partial to Peking Duck. Yeah. Let's have it for lunch tomorrow. My treat. I'll make the reservation. What the freak is going on? So I guess it's gonna be daytime now? Which we haven't seen daytime in a long time? Hmm. That really concerns me a little bit. If, uh, the game does anything. And it's daytime. Alright, so we are. That's survive for, I think? Yeah. Alright, no one's ready for promotions. Wait. Listen. You get to talk to Ichiban and Chimmy Hushino earlier, something I'm curious about, huh? Wait well, on me then. Well, remember how he said he wasn't chance when he came to Injinsha? Okay. Yeah, something like that. Well, you're waiting out from a gunshot wound. I was working my butt off to say to find the tools to treat you. I doubt you remember. Nah, you know my gratitude is deeper than the oceans for that. Well, I think the part you want to know is the one who told me to treat you as one other that was the chief. Hmm? Hmm? I mean, it was the middle of the night. I was asleep, of course. The chief and a few guys came to me in a panic and asked me to fix you up. Mm. But now that I think about it, why would they care? Oh. What's that supposed to mean? You don't think a motive is to save a dying man, do you? If you're one of us, sure. I would have done it. No questions asked. 
But getting involved with a shot Yazuga? That's just asking for trouble. If they really want to save you, why don't they just drop you off in a hospital? Or call an ambulance? Huh. Now, the chief wanted to keep it in the house. Right. So I think the chief must have had a reason why he wanted to save you. A reason we still don't know. I guess he might... I think it relates to the chairman Hoshino was saying about you being here isn't just by chance. Yo. Do you think there's more to the chief than we know? Well, every hobo has a secret or two he's hiding. Hey. If you got time before getting the pecking duck date, maybe we should talk to the chief and it'd be a good idea. Huh. That's very interesting. But we're not going to be going straight there yet. Ooh, check that fruit out. Didn't notice this was a persimmon tree. A what a tree? And damn, it's a big one, ain't it? Hello there. Hmm? Are you out for a stroll too? It's the perfect weather for it. Yeah, sure. Hey, Kanachan. <sighs> you guys taking a walk too? Yes, staying cooped up in the house doesn't do much for one's health. So we step out for a walk from time to time. Oh, cool. Not like it matters. I'm going to die soon anyway. Once that persimmon falls from that tree, my life is over. There you go again with that nonsense. Sorry about that. No, don't sweat it. Well, if you'll excuse us, let's go, Kanachan. Well, that was depressing. That girl. I wonder if she's sick. I mean, Casca, come on now. When the persimmon falls from the branch, huh? The persimmon. We're following in the substory nine that's been in my freaking thing that I have not touched yet till now. I'm excited. So, how to do this? We we'll go to this closing store. We're leaving the clothing store. We're back. Yes, this is one of the easiest ways to do it. That thing's gonna fall regardless. Hey. The kid's not with you today. What? Oh, you're the man from earlier. Hey. No, she's resting at home today. Her surgery is soon, so she's not going to go outside as often. Surgery? <sighs> kind of John, my daughter, was born to get school weaker than most children. They get to go to school while she does when in the hospital. She's never seen treatment before, she's upcoming surgery. On days where she's feeling better, we go out for a walk like last time. Despite that, it seems that routine was finally caused her to shut herself in. I had no idea. Does the surgery sound promising? Mm. Well, she's healthy enough to go through it with it, but the problem is that she's losing her will to live. Yeah, that certainly complicates things. Oh. Hmm? Her will to live? Yeah, one well being depending on willpower. Even if the body is doing well, the lack of willpower will eventually drag the body down with it. Wow. That's true. I guess she's got to want to go through it too, right? Exactly. I've been trying to do what I can, like talking her outside for walks, but it doesn't seem to help me. She's a tree from the home nearby, and each time she looks out the window, it's the same thing. Why is that provision? Simmon falls from the tree my life's over. I'm trying to figure out when the permit it does fall, her life really will fall with it. I'll come here whenever I can check on the per persimmon. Hope it doesn't fall before her surgery. Forgive me. I didn't mean to get involved in this. No. no I don't mind at all. My name is I might have to try that by the way. Yeah. I'm Costigo. I swim with the air pretty often too, so I'll keep an eye out for the persimmon. Thank you very kind of you. We should well should be going. You better stay on that bright other surgery, little fruit. I mean... Okay, hey, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to the clothing store real quick. We're gonna go to the clothing store now. What? What are you doing? Hey, I'm pretty sure that girl Kanako is special for simmon trees over here somewhere. I wonder if the fruit's still... Huh? You gotta be kidding. A 
Simmer wrestler? Yo, what the hell are you doing? Mm. What's it look like? I'm practicing on this tree, boss. Why here? Can't you, like, do that shit at the sumo stable or something? I'd be more than happy to, boss. But I'm afraid that's no longer an option. Why is that? Our sumo stable's pretty small with only my master, my mentor, and myself. I usually practice with my mentor. But one day, he went out for drinks with another wrestler and, well, had a large bottle of sake broken over his head. Oh, that, that's too bad. A bottle of sake? The culprit claims he was too drunk to remember anything, but because of him, my mentor's in the hospital. Three months for a full recovery, they say. I lost my practice partner. My brother. My family boss. I'm gonna avenge him at the Spring Sumo Tournament. That's why I'm training for the big battle with this here tree. You're acting like the guy's dead. And look, nothing personal, but could you at least practice on another tree? Seriously, any tree other than this one. Sorry, boss, but of all the trees in Yokohama, this one is the biggest and feels the most like my boy. Yes, sir. I get the feeling this tree's gonna make me a whole lot stronger. His partner must be some kind of monster. That being said, I'll show no mercy to anyone who stands between me and my practice! Yo, I ain't telling you to stop practicing. I'm just worried about the persimmon on this tree. And I'm worried about wasting time and losing my rank! But if you insist on stopping me, then I'm just gonna have to practice on you, boss! Oh no! I dropped the lift key! Wait, here's all that's coming. So... Uh, there we go. So, spoiler warning. Watch me. He's low up. That was a fun fight. Woo. That's a hard fight, guys. Well, fun. I hit you once. We gotta see for yourself. <clears throat> I'll crack the persimmon. Phew, looks like it's gonna be okay. <clears throat> well, you fight sets it all, boss. You got something you want to protect? You protect this permission with you no matter what the cost. Just like I protect my partner. Here we go again. <laughs> yes, you and me are so different after all, huh? Boss. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I don't know about that. The tree here is yours, boss. Sure, sounds good. Thanks. As for me, I'm gonna find another worthy tree. Farewell. Really? That was it? <sighs> Would it be quick if we just found a different practice partner? Well, we just got the permissive safe. Check back from time to time. Wait, so... So my next question is... Is there anything else? I feel like that should have been the end. Nope. Something else here. Yeah. Oh, looks like the persimmon's okay. That was a really close call with that sumo wrestler. It should be fine now. Oh, what Ooh, now? What the? <laughs> Damn wind. The next one will get it. That pretty little persimmon's going down. Ow! Fucking... Damn, these little bastards hurt. I don't know what's going on here, but I need to stop that maniac or the persimmon's gonna get shot. Hey! Stop shooting the fruit! Huh? Who the hell are you? Oh, you're that idiot who was dancing near my target. I wasn't dancing. You shot me, you dipshit! Did I? Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'll make sure the next one's on target. Hold up! Cease fire! What have you got against the fruit? I have nothing against that persimmon. I was just testing something out. Testing what out? I'm a big military fanboy. I had this sniper rifle imported from overseas, and it just arrived today. 
What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? It's a dream come true for a bolt action lover like me. And I also can't complain about how genuine the specs are. Steel cylinder for maximum durability. The trigger even has that real authentic click. So what's this guy talking about? Anyway, I was wanting to test this baby out when, lo and behold, I found the perfect target. That pesky persimmon. Ah, oh, I get you. That's why you were shooting at it. That's cool and all, but you mind switching targets? What? I can't have you shooting at that persimmon. You see, there's this girl who's sick and... That's a negative! What? Why? A sniper never lets his target live. And I'm gonna put it down with my new partner here. Dude, it's a toy! Calm down! If you still intend to stop us, then you'll be our first hit! You've already hit me! Not the point. Yeah, I don't care. You're gonna be so. Is that what I just take a guess? Well. I'm gonna one hit you again? <laughs> that was fun. Too, too easy, I'm afraid. That was fun. Dang, I never really went for close quarters combat. <sighs> Dang, it really didn't need to go down like that, man. Time to abort mission and move on. I don't want to see you shooting that thing again. Okay, fine. I'll let you have this one. The kill is yours. I'm not killing anything. Anyway, I'm going to get going. Hey, hold up. What was that? That was a fun fight. Human targets bring the thrill to a whole new level. Is that all right if we do this again once I order a new gun? Yeah. Sure. I'll... <laughs> if you want. Reason it on. Brother, all right. So for this instance, it's okay for now. Hopefully, it stays that way till the surgery. All right. I guess what we're gonna do one more time before the end of this episode. Hmm. What the freak are you doing? Hmm? What's that sound? What now? Oh, he was hammering a straw doll to the persimmon tree. Wait, persimmon tree? Ah! Uh. Hey, the hell do you think you're doing? None of your business. I'm casting a hex. Now scram. Yo, hold up, man. You stop that hex right now. And why you gotta hurt the tree? <sighs> You'll never understand how I feel. I'm gonna cast the hex on her. Her? Yes, on Hitomi, my classmate, and my girlfriend. What? You're putting a curse on your girlfriend? What the hell for? I finally realized she never cared about me. I caught her kissing my senpai from the soccer team. Right here in front of this tree. For fuck's sake. Of all places for the shit to go down. So I'm casting a hex. Hammering this doll right into their special spot. No, wait. I know it really sucks for your girl to have betrayed you like that. But this won't solve anything. She might have had a reason for doing what she did. Are you taking her side too? Huh? Nobody understands how I feel. Everybody always takes her side. No, that's not what I mean. Enough! I'll cast the hex on anyone who sides with that traitor. And you're first, Shrubby! Oh god, that's the first time they've got Shrub. Oh, I'm gonna tell you one shot again. We're doing all these old missions. Watch me. Jeez, you beat the little kid. How rude. Cynic. Really? Why would you pick up my eraser with me with such tenderness? Was it all, uh, hmm? eraser? Yeah, I dropped my eraser and Hitomi Chan picked it up and gave it back to me. <laughs> and when she did, our hands touched. Uh, that means we're dating now, doesn't it? Bruh! Hmm? What? Hmm? What? Wait, is that what it really is? That's the extent of your relationship? Well, yeah. That's what your sense. 
Is it up, isn't it? Our hand's done. We're basically married. Oh my god. No, that's not how it works. Not in the slightest. <sighs> oh, I see. You know, it's the first time a girl ever touched me. I love the witchcraft. Sorry for any trouble. Yeah, good plan. Yeah, excuse me, I'm off to find a new lover. Oh, well, good luck, you'll need it. I figured the next girl just hands him some change or something. Mm. Either way, this track's some sort of weird stuff. So wait, the first one here. Is. <laughs> she seems like she's getting a spirit increase from just us fighting random people. Okay, there are another one, because I want to finish. Simon looks all right, but I wonder how Kanako-chan is doing. I hope her surgery went okay. Well, Kasuga-san. Huh? You're Kanako-chan's father. How's Kanako-chan doing? The surgery go all right? <sighs> uh -oh. Huh? No, don't tell me. Uh, Kanako, come here. No! Kanako-chan? Wait, she's all better now? She is. She used to always stare out the window with such a hopeless look in her eyes. But these days, that look's been replaced with a smile. Her surgery was a great success, and she's even up on her feet again. No way! That's great! She wanted to come say thank you. To me? Thank you, Kasuga-san. You protected the persimmon for me. Nah, no need to say thanks. No, I had a lot of fun watching you. Fighting a sumo wrestler, getting shot by a toy gun, comforting that witch boy, and all to protect the persimmon. I couldn't help but laugh, and it made me realize there's so much to see out there. It gave me the hope to keep going. Oh yeah? Guess it was all worth it then. There was also a part of me that wanted to skip the surgery just so I wouldn't miss out on the drama. <laughs> Hey, hey, good thing you didn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you happy. I should also thank this tree. I'm still here, thanks to this persimmon. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Well, what do you say we eat it? Huh? You want to eat it? You don't need it anymore, right? Besides, look how good it looks. You've wanted to eat it this whole time, haven't you? You got me. <laughs> Hang on a sec. What? Oh, yeah, look. It's nice and ripe. You want dibs, conical chan I'll have some after you. You should go first since you worked so hard to protect it. You sure? Okay then, here goes. <coughs> oh. Ugh. This is one of the bitter ones, huh? I thought so. You mean you knew? Come on, Kanako chan. <laughs> <laughs> I got even more pound mates. Well, with that note, that takes our first 10 done. We need to figure out 11. So, next one, y'all can sell like a dragon. There's two side quests. We so we done. We're going to continue working our way up through these side quests a little bit. But I know I want to do them all. Start with. I'll see you then.